we pride ourselves in working with our local communities, whether that's working with local companies or offering jobs to local people or through our community funds. So I'm Robin Palmer. I'm one of the volunteer crew here at Blythe Life Boat Station. Uh, here as part of the RNLI, we've got two uh, lifeboats, two inshore lifeboats, the D-Class and the Atlantic 85 D-Class lifeboat. So I've been here for eight years. I've got different roles. So I'm volunteer crew and then I'm also our lifeboat press officer. The main job for the RNLI is that we aim to obviously save lives at sea. But what we like to, to do with all our water safety messages that go out is the whole idea is like we'd like our pager never to go off. So that's the, the whole aim of, of everything that the RNI is about. So our, our whole station is manned by volunteers. From the support of EDF Renewables, it's basically we have the running cost of the station is just your normal electricity and everything through from the running of the station. But then from the crew point of view, we train two nights a week for an individual crew member's kit in the region of sort of £1,800 so that can fund the kit going forwards then just for the literally the upkeep of the station so that means that the, the boats we can keep in the best condition that possible uh, things do break so we're placing parts on the boat um, and that's all funded by EDF Renewables. In the summer um, we were contacted by EDF Renewables and it was a case of doing some more work in the community and just being visible so we went down to the, the local beach uh, down everybody would know it here by the fish and chip shop and by the ice cream shop that it was known for and it was a case of went down to the beach and it was just to engage with the community making them aware of the, the water safety messages again every time we engage with the community and just getting to know yourselves and uh, cleaning up the beach.